We are currently in Albertín in Spain and it is so beautiful here. We don't know if we're climbing anymore. I'm looking for my new Tinder profile. Oh, I have a crime to report. Hey, queen. Hey, queen. Let's go! Today is day two of us being at Burdin. We're going to another climbing place. The one was a little intense. Um, so we're going to see if we can take day two a little slower and less stressed out. If you know what I mean. The journey to bouldering areas can often involve a little hike. You might hear some climbers refer to this as the approach. And depending on where you are and the terrain that you're in, the level of difficulty can vary. But as you can see in Albrathin, the hike is so nice. It's gentle, the land is flat, the trees are sparse, and if you're lucky, you get some gorgeous sun rays. First climbing spot today, parking. And as usual, always good to warm up. Oh, and smidge, lather yourself in insect repellent because those flies do not take the hint. Yeah, get on it, come out, uh, bump your left toe, I use your left toe to get you off the thing. Okay. Hey. Oh. oh, but maybe you have to press it twice, because once wakes it up, and the second time is record. This is called the fly dance. Yeah, killing it. Yeah, that's good. 
Yes, come on, you're looking so good. You're so far up on it. Perfect, perfect. Ah, vale. One, yeah, come on. No, Porque seguramente en un ratillo se nos va a seguir en modo. Yes. Ah. Ah. Very nicely done. Gotcha. The storm caught up with us. The climbers watched as the heavens opened and tragedy showered on their beloved rocks. So it's just started dipping it down. I don't know if we're climbing anymore. Quick disclaimer, you should not climb on rocks in Albertathene if it's raining. 
The water makes the red sandstone weaker and more prone to breakage. Climbing on wet sandstone can damage the rocks. We are only going climbing in an area with roof roots where the rocks are dry. Make sure the rocks you're climbing on are dry or just don't at all. There you go, there you go. That's it, that's the spot. On the one day we decided not to buy proper shoes or bring rain gear, it was chucking it down. Not good. Rain knows to stop when we finished climbing. It just knows. Uh, let's give the, just give them the Oh yeah. We have to just cut down the mats because they are so sandy. I mean, this. Look how grabby she is. Shut up! The rain fall. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Videos and stuff you got. I'm looking for my new Tinder profile. Oh yeah, I've got some of that for you. It's quite, it's quite poetic, isn't it, to have your current girlfriend take the photo for your Tinder profile for a new girlfriend. It's very modern. Very preparation. I think it's just sensible, isn't it? It's sensible. See you later. Bye. We are leaving Albertine on day two. Now look how gorgeous it is just as we're leaving. And that about wraps up day two of bouldering. It was rather uneventful, really. Just kidding. We'll be back tomorrow, but tonight we've got a very important date with the town of Albrechtin. Spain recently voted the small town of Albrecin in the hills of Aragon, their country's most beautiful village, in a recent survey. Oh my gosh, Located about three and a half hour drive east of Madrid, 
the ancient walled town of Albrecin is built on the hills above the Guadalaviar River and is home to some 1,000 people. Let's go pay them a visit. While the area around Albrecin has been inhabited for centuries, the town gets its name from the Berber dynasty that settled here, the Banu Rathin, sometime around the 9th century, and is best known for its beautifully preserved medieval centre. Wait, no! <laughs> Santander! Yeah, that's a <laughs> Oh my god, that's, this is the best Santander bank I've ever seen! After centuries of Muslim rule, the town was peacefully passed back to the Roman Catholics in the 12th century. What is it? Beautiful. Wow. So the town has a Gothic cathedral in addition to the ruins of a Moorish Alcazar. on the dot. We are waiting for the beers. They're late. The bar never opened, uh, but no. luckily there was a convenience yeah, store yeah. around the corner yeah. that knows what the people want. Oh yeah. Been exercising all day, you're doing one little can, and you're tripping. I'm not done yet. Not done yet. Everybody's just waiting, waiting for the bar. Someone's calling the cops because it isn't open. <laughs> this I have a crime to report. <laughs> and finally, we've waited long enough for the restaurants to be open. We are starving! This is cute! Oh my god, I love the different plates. Um, now you speak Spanish. It's not for you. Not for you. Not for, you. Not for me. I have the nicest of Oh dear. Hola. Buenos noches. Buenas noches. Tardes noches. Tarde, yeah, tardes noches. Tardes noches. <laughs> Dom, just walk on right or left. Okay. <laughs> so close. It took us a little while to order with a Spanish menu. But we got there. Oh, I like this very much. Okay, it's paper. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Look at that. It is like a whole oh, slab nice. of cow. Yeah, that was good. Thank, thank you very much. So, this is the second course close off a few bowls of white. A meal. The meal was absolutely delicious, and the portions were so large, we were stuffed. We may have ordered too much. Agua. Agua. Royal Museum's Arthur Public. Yeah. I was like, I was really like, fuck yeah, you go queen. Like, this is awesome. You go queen. <laughs> yeah. Yes, queen. Yes, queen. Yes, queen. The queen. Yes, the, the queen. The queen. No, yes, any queen. The queen. The queen. It's just... Night time. So in the darkness, there was actually a lot of lovely restaurants we can't see. <laughs> This. Don't worry, you can get a coffee as well. You know, uh, in case you want that espresso. What would be the weirdest selection? Would be, would be, would be, would be a hot dog? Uh, I don't know, Pringles? Pringles? Uh, uh, yeah, a monster and a pocket. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, gotta eat and then gotta